Scientist Alan Snyder believes that our increased understanding of the savant brain turns conventional theories about creativity on their head. It's fascinating to me that music, mathematics, art are considered the pinnacle of uh, human creativity, requiring high intelligence and dedicated practice, focus, but yet, is that true? Savants smash that. And so, if we can get a, an insight into how they do it, we have an insight into a mind, an insight into creativity. And the question is, why can't we all do it? Snyder has designed a controversial experiment to see if we can all do it. We're going to put magnetic pulses into your head. They're safe. And we're going to do that for about 15 minutes. Using a revolutionary technology, Snyder asserts that he can artificially turn on anyone's hidden potential by temporarily turning off part of their brain. Our transcranial magnetic stimulating equipment has been able to allow us to have the same skills that savants have. Snyder has recruited Micah Ray, a university student, to be his guinea pig. He has devised a series of tests that echo savant skills that he will administer to Mike before and after he stimulates his brain. First up is a drawing test. What we'd like you to do, Mike, is to draw from memory a, your version of a horse. And your yeah, horse, and uh, we'll give you about a minute. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, Mike. In the next test, Snyder asks his subject to repeatedly read a familiar proverb. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. In fact, it's so familiar to Mike, he completely misses the repeated the. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Finally, Snyder has Mike try to replicate a truly awe-inspiring savant skill. There's a scene in Rain Man where a box of toothpicks are dropped on the floor, and instantly the savant guesses the number. Uh, 180. Mike has one and a half seconds to count a mass of projected dots. 60. It seems an impossible task. But now Snyder is going to try to unleash his subject's inner savant. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the magnet on your skull, just where we measured before. Okay. And let me tell you, uh, it is very possible that you'll feel your teeth clenching together. What I suggest you do is you hold them tight. Okay. So, I'm just going to hold your head. Okay, now we're going to do this for 15 minutes. And I want you to try to hold still, don't move. That's why we have the chin rest. How do you feel? I feel fine. Well, you do feel the clenching. It actually feels like there's a, um, it's like a small pressure blow. Like a ballpoint point. Yeah, yeah, surprisingly. Just... Ballpoint hammer, some people say. Yeah. Well, Mike, the good news is that you're participating in a, a truly frontier experiment. Ten seconds. Is Snyder for real? Will his newly manipulated subject be able to perform the remarkable skills of savants. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Watching exactly the spot in the brain they're targeting. For the past 15 minutes, Alan Snyder has been shooting magnetic pulses directly into the brain of his winning subject. Okay, first of all, Mike, how do you feel? I feel pretty good, yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about that more later, but before sure. we do, 
What I'd like you to do is um, participate again in the reading, the reading of the Proverbs that you did before. A bird in the other hand is worth two in the bush. The first surprise is that after the stimulation, Mike has instantly spotted the double V. Everybody sees the two Vs, but they somehow don't access it. What the TMS does is what I think exists in a savant all the time, is that it gives you privileged access to lower level raw sensory information that's obviously in all of us. Mike's brain now notices the double V because the magnetic stimulation beamed into his left hemisphere has turned off the higher thinking processes located there. This has caused his brain to switch on circuits in the right hemisphere that enable him to see detail more readily. You can look at the hemispheres as a struggle. There's a kind of tension between them with the left normally oppressing or suppressing the, the right. And by inhibiting the left, we disinhibit, we free up the right. Again, I'm going to show you, as before, a number of dots on the screen. And I want you, you'll just have a moment to look at them, and I want you to tell me how many you see. When he first tried to count the dots, Mike seemed hesitant. But after a dose of magnetic stimulation, his responses are more confident. 103. 110. 62. Okay, so before the transcranial magnetic stimulation, you got two out of 20. Right. Which is, which is very typical. Yeah. That's about what most people get. But in your case, quite astonishingly, after TMS, you got 8 out of 20, which is better than our average. Excellent. And when Mike draws the horse, he seems to do it with a lot more flair. You seem to have a completely different schema, whereas before you were concentrated on the bold outlines. In each task, Mike exhibits a noticeable improvement, as Snyder has found in 40% of his subjects. The magnet's effects are fleeting. Within an hour, Mike's hidden talents will go back into hiding. But Snyder is not shying away from his ambitions. I would one day actually like to have a thinking cap. Uh, you know, this, this device that allows us to go against our evolutionary makeup allows us to, to become literal, but a, a better way to say it, allow us to get rid of our prejudices, just for a moment. Should Snyder one day realize his dream, perhaps the question will no longer be whether we can possess the unique abilities of savants, but whether we would want them. How might our lives be affected by enhanced access to detail, limitless memory, or even instant creativity? For now, only people like Tommy McHugh can serve as a guide. In the future, they're going to have thinking caps they'll put on your head. They'll trigger a shot to you, and you'll be a ballet dancer. They'll trigger another shot, you'll be a musician. They'll find areas on the brain that can trigger things on you. Snyder's work may be a step towards this future, but his efforts to replicate the skills of savants are in their infancy. The brain is an infinitely complex organ, one that does not readily surrender its secrets. But understanding the savant brain may offer the best way forward. <laughs>